to work? You know, that's atypical. Um, I think there's a lot of things that are atypical about the Intrepid Capital Funds. Uh, we're, we're very much not index-centric. Uh, we, we take what the market will give us in terms of what we call valuation discounts. I think we've been fortunate to have had net inflows, but you also are now close to the five-year mark in a pretty much upward biased equity market. Mm -hmm. uh, March will be the fifth year anniversary. So, you know, I, I like to say, and it sounds sarcastic, but it's also true, people are, the idea is to buy low and sell high. So between monetizing equities where we think they've reached a private market valuation and having had uh, short duration high yield bonds called in an environment that's very easy to get financings done, Coupled with some modest inflows, uh, cash is now reaching you know 30 percent. I'd say typical of this fund, though, it's it's typically been kind of low to mid double digits. Uh, you know, 10, 12, 15 percent is not abnormal. Um, I think in an environment where we uh, trade in what are less liquid parts of the capital markets, um, I'm attracted to that because they're I think less efficiently priced. To have cash when uh, volatility erupts where that may be, then you, can uh, you know, that, that old saying, uh, in, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. To have cash uh, at the point of maximum distress, you can really find attractively priced securities. Uh, but we really have had very low volatility, uh, interestingly so even over the last uh, month of October with the, you know, the brouhaha over the debt downgrade. So, you know, I'm really waiting for some dislocations and I just haven't seen very many. So let me ask you about some of the stocks that you did hold as at the end of the quarter. Uh, one sort of the classic value play, Berkshire Hathaway. I mean, sure. that stock has, has had a good performance. Sure. What drives it from this point on? Is it going to be more acquisitions? What happens with the financial equation, especially when interest rates start to rise next year, which in theory they're supposed to? Well, you know, I think going back to that, I think the Fed intimated in late May that, you know, they'd take away some support. Um, and, you know, I think most people, present company included, were a little surprised in September when that didn't occur. Um, as far as Berkshire Hathaway, there's a lot of things hanging over it. One, first and foremost, that Mr. Buffett's, you know, 82 or 3 years old. I think it's a, it's a great money-making machine, the way I look at it, but it's a multiple of book value. It's probably uh, fairly fully priced. Mm -hmm. uh, I've trimmed that position back. Keep in mind, personally, that's a security that I've also owned and my family has since the late 80s, and I've, I've certainly You've benefited well, from that. Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I think that's a really unique situation. Um, I recognize he's got a succession plan in place. I suspect there'll be some disruption uh, when he goes on to meet his maker, but, you know, so far the cherry cokes and steaks are working for him. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs>